In today's video, we are going to be making the delicious light and airy Japanese cotton cheesecake. In a small pot, we are going to be adding 40 grams of butter. To that, we're gonna add 150 grams of cream cheese and 60 mils of milk. We're gonna warm that gently and whisk it together until it's a nice, smooth liquid. Now we're gonna get two bowls. We're gonna separate four eggs. Try not to get any yolk into the egg whites because they will not whip up. It's okay if you crack your egg yolks. To the egg whites, add a pinch of cream of tartar. That's gonna help stabilize the egg whites as we whip it to soft peaks. Then slowly increase your speed, adding 80 grams of caster sugar, if you don't have caster sugar, you can just use sifted icing sugar. Now you can increase the speed to medium high or high and whip it until soft peaks form. So over to the egg yolks, we are going to break them up a little bit with a whisk. And gradually whisk in the cream cheese liquid. Whisk to combine until it becomes nice and smooth. All right, so next up is the flour and cornstarch. 35 grams of flour, which is a third of a cup. 15 grams of cornstarch, or two tablespoons of cornstarch. Sift that through, pushing through any lumps. Pour in the egg yolk mixture and whisk until combined. Make sure you scrape down the edges now and then so we don't have any powder on the side of the bowl. That's a nice smooth paste. So this is where the souffle part comes in to make the cheesecake nice and fluffy. We wanna add a third of the meringue mixture and gently mix that through. You don't have to get it fully incorporated at this stage. Add another third. Mix that through. These little bits of meringue are going to continue to mix through as we add the last batch. Just gently fold that through with a spatula. Just scrape down the sides of the bowl so you don't have any raw meringue on the edge. Okay, now for the tins. So I'm gonna use two smaller tins. They're six inch tins. I'm gonna line the base. What I do is I just fold the baking paper and snip off the edge. When you open it up, you get a nice little circle. Grease the tins. And line the base. You can put a scale underneath and weigh out the batter evenly, but I'm just gonna go by eye. Give it a little tap on the counter to get rid of any large air bubbles. Because I have a loose bottom tin, I'm going to be putting a layer of foil around my tin so that I don't get water into my cake batter. If you don't have a loose bottom tin, you can leave this step out. Bake them in a water bath, which is just a tray large enough to fit both cake tins filled with one inch of hot water. They're gonna go into a preheated oven at 160 for one hour. I didn't actually show it here in the video, but I did cover the top of the cakes with a sheet of foil to protect the cakes as they were baking. And in the last 10 minutes, you wanna remove the top layer of foil so that they get a nice golden color. So after the one hour, you'll notice the cheesecakes will be slightly jiggly, but we're gonna leave them in the oven to cool for one hour with the door slightly ajar. Okay, now that the cakes are cooled, I'm gonna remove the foil. You'll see a bit of condensation, um, a bit of liquid has pooled at the bottom. That's kind of what happens when you use the foil, but that's all right. The best way to get the cake out is to put a glass or a cup 
underneath the cake tin, slide the side down, and there you go. A perfect fluffy cotton cheesecake. Sprinkle with icing sugar to serve. Yes, might be actually a good idea to remove the base of the tin. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look inside. Oh, absolutely perfect. That is just going to be so soft, so moist. Enjoy, I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video.